This one um, is from Practical Water, and it was written. Um, I was going to Washington a while in um, in effort to sit in the hearing chambers and try to um, get hold, kind of get a grip on what had happened to democracy and Evie's beautiful poem. So well. Um, caught that, um, just, you know, what has happened. And I, I thought citizens need to show up in these hearing rooms um, as the whole thing fell apart. And, um, and because there's surveillance conversations now, um, and the whole FISA questions are opening up again. Um, I took my water bottle, and when, in one hearing, I poured a little of the water on the floor of the subcommittee hearing room and just to like, you know, do a little meditation trance. Because um, I, I found that, that sitting in a trance in these hearing rooms in, in Congress was a really effective way to like really hear what was going on. In a subcommittee hearing on electronic surveillance, it would be lovely to ask water to investigate domestic spying, so I put myself in a trance right here in Congress, holding a bottle of H2O from California, so when the principal deputy assistant attorney general reads probable cause to believe, the water shakes its curly geyser brain, and when he says need to close the gaps, it shakes times three until its letters break and splash on the floor of the Rayburn building. Oh, 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 during the report about reading your email. Maybe it's not your email. From the second row, it's possible to see white ridges in his thumbnails while he holds, surveillance has to be reasonable as the prong prong molecules of water trickle through the carpet to find the vault where Electronic Surveillance Modernization Act, the Terrorist Surveillance Act, the National Security Surveillance Act, and the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Improvement and Enhancement Act are stashed to hide them from the mobs of 1772. There's a secret in every act down there. I hear some water, interview the ants who make the basic laws of the land, and while the deputy reads, ferret out terrorists, the water interviews the ferret under Capitol Mall that can't quite streamline operations in the ruddy soil. Perspective is gained. The trance method seems to be working well. I can see half a heart in each congressman. I can see the deputy has a shaving cut and the sunbeam shining through the skin of his left ear. It's feeling rather prone, the light. It's pink, the color of winter robin's legs that make me want not to hate him. It's the tendency of light to change itself. He probably has two kids and lives in Fairfax, near where Whitman's Mockingbird spends winters. He was sprinkled with birth. His death floats near the secrets he can't read. When he says, has to be reasonable, the droplets splash their skinny necks and swelling Buddha bellies and break to make Capitol Hill spell, I toll or top all ill. You at home, what do you feel? You can vote by calling 1-900, it's either too fucking late or too early. <laughs> There's a secret in every century that likes it if you shout. There is time for our little secret. There is space for the secret spilling out.